Islam, Shalom, Hola, Aloha, Assalamu Alaikum, Osio, Bonjour, Peace and Love to all the Moors all over the world. This is your brother Zach Bay, Indigenous American Moor, coming to you live and in perfect once again with another episode of Black's Law Dictionary 4th Edition. Thank you for joining me. Let's jump back into it. Please like and subscribe, share the video, my channel. I comment, interact with my content. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so let's jump into it. First definition we're hitting is banner. We all know the difference between the U.S. Corporation trade banner and the American flag are not the same, but let's see why. Okay, so banner says a small flag bearing a device or symbol and intended to be carried or waved. Even though the word flag is in there, it is very different from an actual flag. And we will see why. All right, let's continue here. So, flag. It says a national standard. See, automatically entering a nation. A national standard on which a certain emblem and ensigns a banner. All right, so let's go to it. Law of flags. Flag of law. The law of flags. And maritime law. The law of that nation or country whose flag is flown by a particular vessel. All right, so vessels, when they fly a flag, depending on what nation it is, displaying the nation, it says a ship owner who sends his vessel into a foreign port gives notice by his flag to all who enter into contracts with the master that intends the law of that flag be regulated such oh. Yeah, the laws of that flag to regulate such contracts and that must be either submitted to its operation or not contract with it. All right. So we talking about maritime law. Don't forget entering these traffic uh, kangaroo courts, these venues. They're using maritime law, the law of like navigating and traveling, all right? So that's why I'm trying to help you navigate correctly as a Moor. So when you see Moors or you see different people with different, um, like in their automobiles traveling around and you see like little flags um, hanging, uh, little national flags hanging from their, their rear view mirror, or they have like a bumper sticker or um, uh, a plate or something that's displaying the, the flag of their nation uh, that they come from that's actually maritime law and they're displaying uh, while they're traveling in commerce what type of law they wish uh, what type of law or jurisdiction they wish to be used on their vessel to be contracted in but that's why if you remember the video of the moor hanging his flag out the window saying that they don't have jurisdiction that's why i love that video and you know you always have your flags with you you know always rocking the flags all right so let's keep going bill don't forget you can pause these hopefully it's legible um read more into it uh, screenshot it whatever you need to do to get these details and these definitions okay so bill when thinking about bill like dollar bills or uh, bills of exchange bills of a tenure things like that all right so bill a formal declaration complaint or statement of particular things in writing as a legal term this word has many meanings and applications the more important of which are enumerated below okay so the bill pretty much automatically tells you it's a formal declaration declaring something formal or 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 it's a complaint when it's an eyes of a court or a statement of particular things in writing all right okay so bill of privileges i thought this was interesting in old english law a method of proceeding against attorneys and officers of the court not liable to arrest all right Let's see officers of the court proceeding against them an attorney so we definitely want to look into this these bills of privileges because these people try to wear their coat 
or their their seat of office and be untouchable um, out of your jurisdiction. But there's ways to get at them. Trust and believe. All right. Bill of proof. Um, Okay. In English practice, the name given in the mayor's court. uh, It's this order. Mayor's Court of London to a species of interventions by third party laying claim to the subject matter and dispute between the parties. I thought this was important because it's pretty much saying the name given bills of proof to species of law of in pretty much in intervening with two parties. So it's, it's, it's like the court. When the court the court needs proof proof jurisdiction in order to have subject matter jurisdiction when there's two parties having a dispute or a suit. Alright. one out bill of debt an ancient term including promissory notes and bonds so those are like the bills the so-called paper money that we're using um the currency the the federal reserve notes it's not money okay for payment it's all right an ancient term including promissory notes and bonds for the payment of money that's what a bill of debt is exactly what these promissory notes are these Federal Reserve notes that we're using in Monopoly. Bill of Exchange. All right, this is very important. You should definitely study this and look into this. All contracts that you may um, have entered into unknowingly, um, fraudulently um, entered into, you know, bills of exchange. You need to keep keep your contracts and make sure you're holding these people to task if you did not know something at its very beginning if it wasn't explained to you if there was um hidden hitting meanings uh a whole lot of things hitting like if everything was not fully disclosed to you at the beginning of a contract it is void ab initio that's from the beginning because it, it wasn't full disclosure so therefore it's not a legally binding contract both parties should be fully should have full uh, comprehension and disclosure. A lot of these things people sign, like signed into or contracted into at birth or even at like the age of 18 just because you were told to. But when all bills of exchange are written in order from A to B, directing B to pay to C a certain sum of money, they're named. All right. Very, very simple. Somebody has to pay somebody and it's in writing. Dots, family, connect the dots. 
exactly the kind of trick bag they have us into creating these bonds, um, certificates of birth, uh, social security numbers. It's all a bond and it's all leading us into slavery. See, a deed obligated, obligates himself and his heirs. That means your descendants, your children, executors, anybody who's stand, who standing up for you, anybody who's claiming to be for you and his administrators, all these all these people, you're pretty much saying that you're indebted to them, you're bonded. Right there. Alright, let's keep moving. I really hope that sinks in. Bonded indebtedness. Alright, exactly what we're talking about. Indebtedness lawfully contracted for corporate purpose, payable from taxes on all property within municipalities. Right, so it's inside of these invisible borders, these municipalities, these counties, these um, you know these these different uh, jurisdictions that they're creating, uh, all on paper. These municipalities are they uh, exist on paper. All right, so bonds, man, a surety. See, exactly you're right there, you're a surety. One who has entered, uh, one who has entered into a bond as surety. The word mean, the word seems to apply especially to the sureties upon the bonds of officers, trustees, etc. While bail should be reserved for the surety on recognizance and bail bonds. I hope it's sinking in, people. Alright, fam. I hope it's sinking in. Want to touch on a few more definitions. This one really fast. Breach of trust. But and I really wanted to go through those bonds. Bond man being bonded. Exactly how that links to us. Because people are labeled as commodities and utilities. Um, transmitting utility maturities. So breach of trust. Any act done by a trustee contrary to the terms of his trust or in access of his authority and to the detriment of the trust. Alright, so a lot of these people who are operating the trust of the Moors on the land are in their breach of the trust. Their breach of the trust. And it's time for us to take our rightful place and take it back. Breed. Exactly what is breed and law. Okay, so it says, in medical jurisdiction, the air expelled from the lungs at each expiration. Breathing. Alright, so this is what I wanted to get into a little bit more on the, they have people, like flesh and blood living people, they have them down on paper as transmitting utilities and commodities. Alright, so transmitting utilities. We're going to see exactly what that stuff is. I'm going to go into it next video. I'm going to hit those definitions for you. You might want to look into it on your own before I do, but I definitely will hit that in the next video about commodities and transmitting utilities. But exactly what is breathing, let's get back into it. All right, so we got the medical, the medical juris jurisdiction. It tells you what it is. But legally, what is it? Expansion and contraction under the influence of changing temperatures. A material used I mean, of materials used in cables for transmission of high tension electric currents. Boom, right there. So we're thinking they're talking about breathing when really they're saying this is what these so-called artificial people are doing for for us. Labeled as, you know, that's how they're thinking of us as as, as chattel property, as transmitting utilities. As something to be controlled, um, marginalized, um, to be used for their gain, for their debt. The debt is on the backs of the American people. Everybody, all of us. It's crazy. Right, so I'm gonna actually end it here with these last two definitions. 
I wanted to I wanted to do this just because I thought it was interesting, but Bushido, Japanese, the unwritten code of conduct of the samurai, demanding loyalty and superior, loyalty to superiors only, simplicity of living and military valor, treachery and brutality against one's enemies and self-sacrifice, blind loyalty and unquestioning obedience to one's superiors, are carnal characteristics of the code. I, thought, I just thought that was very important how Bushido was in law, the legal dictionary. Very important, but you know, it's a great code. The code of a warrior. Alright, so I want to end on this one. Business. Very important. What is business legally? Check this out. The term business has no definite or legal meaning. It may be an uncertain one <laughs> business can be anything fam anything you can do anything and everything and call it a business hmm. slavery human trafficking cannibalism all these type of things that are going on being swept under the rug no one's talking about them a lot of stuff going on people business for profit Peace and love. Once again, this is your brother, Zach Bay, Indigenous American Boy. Thank you for joining me. Coming out of the Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. Join me once again. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.